The preferred method of killing involves beheading with chainsaws. Other victims are dissolved in vats of acid. Here is a very small sample. Most of it is simply too grisly to show. There was the summary beheading of 200 migrants. The casino fire which killed at least 50. If you're an ardent true crime follower, if you like the really dark and gruesome, then you must have probably heard of the Funky Town Gore, or you might have even seen it. But if you have not, the video is a horrific cartel torture video that is regarded as the worst cartel execution video in the history of cartel violence. And yeah, for what it's worth, this video is certainly one of the worst gore videos on the internet. But you don't have to go searching for the video to watch. That's if you have not watched it already. But if you insist, then I assure you that you're most probably going to need serious therapy after seeing that video. And even after that, you won't get over it. Don't say I didn't warn you. The short video, which is about 2 minutes and 50 seconds long, starts with a shaky shot of a white ceramic tiled floor. The setting seems to be an industrial kitchen, probably located in a club or restaurant, judging by the faint sound of music and chatter that filled the air. The song playing in the background is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses, a classic rock anthem that contrasts with the horror that is about to unfold as the camera zooms in on a man lying in the pool of his own blood on the floor, bound with plastic wire. At this time, his face had been completely completely peeled off, both eyes were gone. His whole face is covered in red, with visible chunks of flesh and blood covering his empty eye socket. Both arms are missing too, and you could literally see his bones protruding out of his flesh. To add another layer to this horror, the cartel henchman hooked the victim up with an IV, obviously injecting hard substances into his system to make sure he stays aware and awake to feel every single pain they're inflicting on him. As the video progresses, we see one of the henchmen wearing gloves as he's pulling the victim's hair to expose his brutally injured neck. Once his neck is well positioned, another cartel member who seems to be the chief executioner is then seen using a blunt sickle on the man's throat while he's still alive. You could tell that the sickle is blunt by how much pressure he's applying, but with little impact. Writhing in agony and pain, the man starts screaming and shifting to his side. He tries to turn over and lie on his belly, but two other henchmen appear from behind and turn him over to face up, lying on his back. As he continues to scream, another shoves an iron pipe into his mouth to shut him up, and when he doesn't shut up, one of them starts using a box cutter on his throat for like 40 to 50 times. Somehow, this guy is still alive and fully conscious while he's being butchered. This is of course because of the substance they're injecting in him through the IV. The cartel members were about five in number. Apart from the guy holding the camera, we could count four other henchmen walking around the room, taunting the victim, and clearly having fun while engaging in this barbaric act. At this point, the background music changes to Funky Town, which is where the title video comes from. Anyway, the box cutter dude continued to use the box cutter on his throat, going back and forth numerous times. It was a horrific sight. This guy was particularly gruesome, which made him nothing less of a monster. I mean, they were all monsters, but he was on a whole different level. Like the sickle they had used on him earlier, this box cutter is also very blunt and does not deep into the victim's neck. So, the guy starts using it on another part of his neck, close to his ear. It is at this point that the victim lets out another cry of death. But as he screams, the box cutter dude shoves the box cutter into his mouth and starts inside. After some time, he eventually succeeded in cutting the victim's cheek wide open. This happens as the victim makes more and more deadly sounds. At about 60 seconds into the video, the victim manages to cut loose from the restraints, and he brings his arm to touch his face. This was in an attempt to stop the box cutter dude from inflicting further pain on him. But sadly, as you already know, he had no hands. His hands had been removed from the wrist, so it's just bone and flesh protruding out of his arms. Even in this pitiable and horrific state, another dude pushes the iron pipe into the victim's neck, causing a gag reflex in his mouth, and opens his mouth wide. At this point, this guy has no nose, no lips, no eyelids, no facial skin, and not even a single drop of blood left in his veins. The next 45 seconds have him biting on a piece of wood as he makes deadly sounds, and the box cutter guy is still working on his neck. By now, the guy is just lying there stiff and almost lifeless. Yet this dude is still working on his throat with the box cutter. As he was not satisfied with the damage he had already done, he turned to his armpit and started cutting from there. You can tell from the first few cuts that the victim has lost a whole lot of blood because the cuts do not even bleed. You just see white flesh. Eventually, the video ends with one of the henchmen stepping on the victim's arm as he struggles on the floor and gasps for air. The video doesn't capture the final moment when they actually executed him. 
but with what he had been through so far, you can imagine how he eventually died. It would be absolutely horrendous. But who were these guys in the video, and what could the victim have possibly done to receive such an unfathomable punishment? Or were these men just some sick, barbaric lunatics? To answer these questions and get some context on what happened in that video, we need to look at some backstories that would probably offer some of the most plausible explanations as to who the victim is and the cartel behind the horrific video. The cartel is most definitely a Mexican cartel, judging by their accent and their proclivity for violence. But the question is, which of them? No queremos entrar, ya estamos viejos. Y aquí la mera verga es la mera verga. ¿O no, camaradas? Sí, ahí está, bro. When the horrifying Funky Town video went viral on the internet in 2016, it coincided with a fierce clash between two rival drug cartels in the northeastern region of Mexico. The Gulf Cartel and the Los Zetas were locked in a brutal war for territory and power, and each group tried to outdo the other in terms of violence and cruelty. You see, the Funky Town video was not the first or last of its kind to be released during this bloody conflict. A year after that video, another gruesome video appeared on Blog del Narco, a website that reports on the details of the Mexican drug war. The video showed members of the old school Zetas, also called Zetas Vieja Escuela, who had split from the Los Zetas. They were interrogating a man who they claimed was a member of the Gulf Cartel, and then proceeded to remove his limbs while he was still alive. However, there was something strange about the voice of the cameraman in that video. It sounded very similar to the voice of the man in the Funky Town video. And considering the rivalry between the Gulf Cartel and the Los Zetas, who were infamous for being one of the most dangerous criminal groups in Mexico, they spoke with a unique accent from the central southern regions of Mexico, such as Jalisco, Michoacan, or Guerrero. Several cartels operated in these regions, but they probably had high-ranking members who came from one of these places. In fact, in the audio of the Funky Town video, there was a moment when one of the henchmen said something in Spanish that translates to, that's how we Jaliscos are. This suggested that the video could have been made by the CJNG, the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, who had captured a rival gang member, possibly from the Knights Templar Cartel, who was their main enemy at the time. The CJNG was one of the most formidable and ruthless groups in Mexico, and allegedly one of the strongest drug cartels alongside the Sinaloa, from whom they had separated in 2010. It was also considered one of the fastest growing cartels. They were known for their extreme levels of barbarism. So perhaps there was a link between what they said in the video and their identity as Jaliscos. Aside from the cartel responsible for the horror witnessed in the Funky Town video, many people have speculated about the identity of the victim. Some have suggested that he was one of the students who were kidnapped by a cartel in 2014 when they hijacked a bus that was heading to a protest against the local government in Igala. This was a shocking and complex case, with many twists and turns, and there is disturbing footage of the incident. However, this theory does not hold up, because the kidnapped student who was shown in the video had his hands intact, while the victim in Funky Town had his hands missing. Therefore, he could not be the same person. Moreover, in the Funky Town video, there is a voice that says something in Spanish that translates to, you chose the wrong side. This implies that the victim had some affiliation or involvement with a rival group and that he was captured and punished for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Some other people have also argued that he was just an innocent trespasser, but that seems unlikely given the extreme brutality of his punishment. There must be more to the story than that. Another theory that has gained more traction is that the victim was a member of the La Familia Michoacana, a powerful cartel that operates in the states of Michoacan and Guerrero. According to this theory, the Funky Town video was the result of a power struggle within the organization, which had split into different factions that were fighting each other for control and influence. This guy named Lalo Mantecas was the third in command of the La Familia Michoacana, and he was in charge of the Michoacan faction. He had two rivals, the brothers El Pez and El Fresa, who were the leaders of the Guerrero faction. It is possible that the attackers in the video were loyal to Lalo Mantecas and that the victim was from a faction that opposed him and his allies. When they say, you chose the wrong side, they might be referring to his allegiance to the brothers or another splinter group. So, from this analysis so far, we can make an educated guess that the culprits behind the Funky Town video could be one of these three cartels, the CJNG, the La Familia Michoacana, or the Los Zetas. They are killing machines. 
Let me show you the soul. The Los Zetas are notorious for their savage and barbaric acts, which they use to intimidate and terrorize their enemies. They burn these, these individuals in a 55-gallon drum using diesel because diesel burns slower. They put them in acid and watch their bodies degrade. They have fed them to wild animals. They are all about sending a message, a message that they are the most ruthless and feared cartel in the land. And if you are very familiar with this type of gruesome content we're discussing in this video, then you already know that there are many other videos like this one attributed to the Los Zetas. The Los Zetas are not strangers to this kind of thing. However, to date, none of these cartels have ever admitted to being responsible for the Funky Town video. So the question remains, who really did it? Feel free to share your thoughts on this topic with us in the comments below, and if you have enjoyed this video, please do well to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching guys, until next time, please stay safe.